Hello and welcome to Diet Diaries, a prime capsule designed to guide you towards leading a healthier, more fulfilling life. I'm Cheryl Afonso and over the next couple of minutes, I'll be sharing with you answers to nutritional questions that have always boggled you and left you wondering about what's right. I have a party this evening. Let me not eat lunch. There's the office dinner tomorrow. I think I won't have breakfast and lunch. I've put on a kilo. Let me not eat any meals today. Recognize what I'm getting at? Yep, skipping meals. So, how good and how healthy is it? And an interesting offshoot to a question. If I really do need to skip a meal, which one should I forego? Lunch or dinner? The only trend I would think that binds adolescents and the young adults across countries in their quest for a better figure is the habit of missing out on food in the hope of shedding a few inches and kilos. You do need to understand though that you may initially notice a few kilos drop when you just begin the skipping meal fad. But this weight loss will soon taper off and subsequent weight loss will become difficult as the body adapts to a lower food intake by dipping your metabolic rate, preventing further weight loss and storing as fat meals eaten through the rest of the day in anticipation of a period of temporary starvation. If skipping a meal is part of a religious ritual, do be aware that very often when people skip a meal, they may physically not sit down to eating when the rest of the family comes together for lunch or dinner, but possibly be eating or even overeating through the rest of the day, which is a very unhealthy practice. Also be informed that skipping a meal should not translate into the commonly heard, I am fasting or foregoing lunch or dinner, but I'm allowed to eat fruits and milk and sago and dry fruits and raw vegetables. I really would like to know where the fast or not eating or skipping a meal part is in all of this. Although I am not an advocate of conscious meal skipping, maintaining a day's fast where no foods are eaten but only water drunk once a week or following a cleansing dietary regimen where only fresh juices and fruits and raw veggies are consumed for a day or two in a week will do no harm to the body. But if it's only one meal in a day you wish to skip, then I would say forego dinner. Skipping lunch often makes one overeat at evening snack time or dinner, leading to a system overload, especially when breakfast is also meager, as often happens with adolescents and always on the run adults. Following the age old adage, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper is the most ideal for remaining healthy. Going along the lines of keeping dinner extremely light, one would ideally do less harm to the body if dinner was occasionally missed. But don't make it a habit and ensure that breakfast is always wholesome and healthy, especially so the day after you have skipped your dinner. Well, that's your diet tip for today. If you have any queries related to the subject of food, diet and nutrition or comments that you wish to share with us, please email us at the address you see scrolling below and we'll be more than happy to address your question in our upcoming episodes. Eat right, stay healthy with Diet Diaries on Prime. Pregnancy, one of the most awesome periods in a woman's life as she realizes that there is a little life growing inside of her and she develops an instant bond with an unseen being. The weight gain that accompanies pregnancy, however, can often leave the expectant mother feeling miserable as she wonders whether she'll ever be able to shed it all off. 